Hello, this is Mr. Masonette, and we're going to do a little bit of practice with the IQR. This problem reads that Randall took eight quizzes this quarter and earned the following scores. 70, 75, 80, two 90s, a 95, and two 100s. What is the IQR of the scores Randall earned? So to find the IQR, we should start with the median of our data set. So let's count and see how many numbers we have in our data set. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers in the data set, which is an even number. So when you have an even amount of numbers in your data set, just draw a line straight down the middle of your data set. Now, we really don't need to know the median for this problem. We really just need Q3 and Q1. And when you have an even data set and you just draw a line to divide your data into two equal parts, you can identify Q1 by looking at all of the numbers to the left of that line and identify Q3 by finding the median of all the numbers on the right hand side. So let's start by finding Q1. So to the left of the median we have four numbers and there is no middle number here that we can just circle and say that is Q1 and when that happens just divide that data in half and you have to figure out what would be in the middle of those two numbers. We have to do the same thing for Q3. We have to take these four numbers and break them in half and determine what is in the middle of these two numbers. Now, one way that you can find the middle of any two numbers is to add the two numbers and then divide by two. So if we take 80 and 75 and add those two values together, we would get 155. And then we have to take that total and divide it by 2. Dividing the sum of two numbers by 2 will always give you the value that is right in the middle of those two numbers. 2 can go into 15 7 times, which is a product of 14. That leaves us with 1. And we bring down the 5. And 2 goes into 15 7 times, which is a product of 14 once again and we still have a remainder of 1 so what we have to do is just add a decimal to the end of our number here and we bring that decimal straight up we put a 0 in the next place value in the tenths place and drop that 0 down and we continue our division and 2 can fit into 10 exactly 5 times so Q1 is equal to 77.5 now there's another way that we could have figured out what is in the middle of these two numbers. If you notice, 75 and 80 are just 5 away from each other. So we could say the distance from 75 to 80 is 5. But we want to know half of that distance. And half the distance of 5 is 2 and a half. So if we just add 2 and a half to 75, that would give us 77 and a half or 77.5. Let's use that same strategy to find Q3. Now 95 and 100 are also 5 away from each other. But if we go half the distance of 5, that would be 2 and a half bigger than 95. 95 plus 2 and a half is 97.5. Now we have the values needed to find the IQR. So to find the IQR, we take Q3 and subtract from it Q1. In this case, 77 and a half. And we drop our decimal straight down. 5 take away 5 is 0. 7 take away 7 is also 0. And 9 take away 7 is 2. So we have determined that the IQR of the given data set is 20.